Hey guys, Leno here from PlayToEarn.net. Today's video is the second part of our weekly news series, where we talk about news that happened in the blockchain gaming scene this past week, divided into game updates, teasers or announcements, and other news. For this video, we'll be talking about sneak peeks, teasers, and announcements. So without further ado, let's get to the list. To start off our list, Miriam will officially launch on January 31st. The sequel to Mirror 4, Miriam Vanguard and Vagabond, is set to officially launch at the end of this month on January 31st. After undergoing closed beta testing, developer WeMade is now ready to globally release their blockchain title that they label as the largest player in MMORPG in the world. The game will be available on PC, Android, and iOS devices, and anyone who's interested in playing can pre-register ahead of their launch, in order to receive various pre-registration rewards. Next to these rewards, there are also pre-registration store rewards for the Android and iOS version, which you can get by heading to the official store page on the Google Play Store or Apple App Store and tapping on the pre-register button. Once the game releases, the developers will send the store rewards to the account's in-game mailbox, with the team stating that players can accept the pre-registration reward once per account with the official launch. In this upcoming new entry in the Meter franchise, there will be a new growth specialization system called Mandala. It is split into combat and profession, with both containing spot points you can use to customize your character, improving the stats you prefer your build to focus on. The tokenomics will consist of Joan and Dogma, the former being a staking token needed to acquire the latter, Dogma, which is a governance token that allows players to contribute to the game's DAO by locking up their tokens via staking. Mirror 4 players will also be able to stake their Hydra to earn Dogma. Getting Drone will require having Dark Steel chests, which can be crafted using the familiar Dark Steel resource. Players will also be able to purchase these chests through the Wayfarers Market, which is a universal market that connects the markets of every Mirror M server. This market will only be usable on PC after launch. Oh, um, next, Berserk to launch their new season with several upgrades. Berserk's development team evaluated the card game after Season 2's popularity to determine which areas required upgrades. The team has prioritized server upgrades for enhanced stability, lower latency, and quicker or more responsive gameplay. Berserk has identified in-game systems and elements that will be tweaked and redesigned in Berserk Season 3, in addition to technological enhancements. Berserk Season 3 will introduce a new beginning set. This set contains 24 new cards that provide a variety of brand new effective deck building strategies. The new beginning set will be available to everybody for free for the entire season. Furthermore, Berserk Season 3 will make all existing Vulcanites playable heroes. With accessibility to hero abilities, the game anticipates a large rise in player numbers, which will improve match balance. Also, Berserk will change the card draw rate to promote alternate deck building metas. Further in the coming season, the team plans to reduce the card draw to one card every turn, increasing to two from turn 7 onwards. Slower tactics will become more feasible as the card draw rate increases, emphasizing the necessity of deck construction. Moreover, Berserk is introducing matchmaking rating modifications to accommodate high-ranked players who are prohibited from playing after they reach a certain level. Berserk Season 3 will have a daily MMR to to discourage players from squatting on ranks and skipping matches, resulting in a far more fair ranking ladder. A subscription pass will also be available in Season 3, as well as an updated prize structure. If you're liking this news list so far, remember to check out our website and news section to be updated on everything about blockchain gaming. You can also subscribe to our channel to make sure you stay updated on all our videos. Now let's get back to the list. Home um, next, The Lost Land is set to officially release this month. Open World The Lost Land, a real-time tower defense strategy game in development by Monster Labs on the Game Boy GameFi aggregator platform, is set to officially release sometime this January. While there is no exact release date at the time of this recording, the blockchain title is currently in the last phase of internal beta testing, with the team stating that the launch is expected soon this month so it probably won't be long until everyone can get their hands on this new NFT game. This will also be on course with a roadmap on their website that leads the official release as planned for Q1 of this year. In the meantime, the select few who won the last giveaway are in the final wave of internal testing, as they were airdropped a testnet land NFT that allows them to try out the game file tile while providing constructive feedback to ensure a smooth official launch. Aside from the release, the developers also plan on giving away 5,000 main land mystery boxes this month before an initial NFT offering is hosted on the Binance NFT marketplace in the first quarter of this year. The giveaway for the main Netland mystery boxes, however, only applies to holders of the Genesis NFT from the Game Boy platform. The upcoming game is similar to Clash of Clans and Lords Mobile gameplay-wise. It will be available on PC, as well as on Android and iOS devices, and require ownership of a LAN NFT in order to play, earning resources such as gold, food, and stone that will be exchangeable with Game Boy, a governance token that is planned to launch this year. Um, next, Sins of Shadows Beta Leaks reveals Team Deathmatch mode and new UI. Award-winning creative studio Sombra Network has dropped exclusive leak footage of the beta testing for the Team Deathmatch mode in its upcoming player and game, Sins of Shadows. The footage showcases a lobby menu with three maps available in the game, Factory, Space, and Desert, as well as a first glimpse of these immersive locations hosted on new Epic game servers with real-time client hosting. Sombra Network is an award-winning VFX and media studio behind an NFT multiverse known as Sins. It is essentially a player and cinematic universe, where players own the characters and have full control over the storyline as it develops. 
Sombra will develop the Sin storyline and related TV shows every month, along with the player and game missions and multiplayer experiences. Those who interact with the ecosystem will receive rewards in the form of SMBR tokens, a utility token for the Sin's ecosystem. There are four phases to this ambitious project, which began with the Genesis NFT Mint on May 4th, 2022. The second phase saw all Genesis NFTs upgraded to 3D playable avatars, which will later appear in Sins of Shadow and Sombra's TV shows. Set in a world of cyberpunk, Sins of Shadows arrives in the third phase and is described as a GTA Counter-Strike mashup where players can roam around or compete for winner-take-all prizes. At launch, the AAA shooter will offer multiple game modes for players to engage in, which include an open-world multiplayer role mode, a team deathmatch mode, a battle royale game, and a PvE mode tied to its TV series. The project's final phase will see Sins producing a monthly TV show, featuring players' NFT avatars using Unreal Engine 5's motion capture technology. According to Sombra, each plot will be fully driven by the community, and NFT holders will be rewarded for taking part in the production. And lastly, Cosmic Champs releases Season 2 of Game Playable NFTs. On January 19th, Cosmic Champs will release the Season 2 of their highly successful GameFi NFTs on Algorand. According to a report, Cosmic Champs CTO and co-founder Simon Bellinger stated that the community's interactive and 3D animated NFTs have been a hit with collectors, adding a level of dynamic functionality that is unique to the Cosmic Champs experience. He also stated that the incorporation of NFTs into the game's new 3D design will provide players with more immersive and responsive gameplay. The sale of its Season 2 NFTs will take place in two rounds, a private shuffle and a public shuffle. Both rounds will be hosted on the Cosmic Champs Algogem shop on January 19th at 11am UTC. Each NFT will be sold for 20 USD in COSD during the private round, and each NFT will be sold for $30 in COSD during the public round. You must have a Season 1 NFT, a Beta Pass, COSG tokens, be in the Cosmic Quest Q3 Community Building Leaderboard, or win one of the Cosmic Champs Community Giveaways to be eligible for the private shuffle. Cosmic Gold, or COSG, is the governance token for the Cosmic Champs ecosystem. COSG supports a portfolio of games in development, a creator economy, NFT sales, and a future marketplace. COSG allows holders to participate in staking pools on Cometa, Algorand's premier decentralized finance staking solution, and also participate in Algorand Foundation's governance rewards programs. Despite the market downturn, COSG remains in the top 3 projects on Algorand by total value locked in liquidity. And that's a wrap for today's news video. I'll be back tomorrow to talk about our last news segment, news that don't fall in the first two categories. And for more info on everything about blockchain games, check out our website at playtoearn.net, where you have the largest database of games out of all the info you need. That's it for today, see you next video.